a hundred years ago in cities across North America, streetcars rule the day. With the rise of the automobile industry and their lobbying efforts, many of the cities that had streetcars got rid of them. A hundred years later, now in the 21st century, many of those cities are bringing back the streetcar. We never got rid of ours. We have the oldest and continuous still operating streetcar network in North America. The city of Medellin, Colombia has a unique transit system. They have an above ground subway called the Metro. They have cable cars called Metro Cables and they have bus rapid transit, BRT. Transit experts and municipal leaders from all over the world visit Medellin, Colombia and they pay for and get technical tours of their transit system, generating money for the transit system in Medellin, Colombia. Toronto, we have a unique opportunity to create a revenue stream for public transit. As experts and municipal leaders and transit designers from across North America come and visit Toronto, we can sell them consulting services, provide them with our knowledge, and give them technical tours of our streetcar system. The streetcar system in Toronto moves more people every day than the entire GO Transit network. Providing the knowledge that we've gained over decades, but selling that knowledge to other cities is a way for this TTC to raise some money that does not come from the taxpayer. Streetcars as a profit center. Timmy Syed here at the Roncesvalles Streetcar Yard with an idea of how the TTC can generate some money.